Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. We are getting ready to do the reading. Welcome, everyone. We are offering a contest for free readings. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment to enter. Information is in the description box below. Sagittarius, your energy is the Three of Coins, the Three of Wands, we have the Libra Queen, the Queen of Swords. We have Ten of Wands. You want to release a burden. You want to work with your person. You feel as though this relationship has potential, but you will not stick around for anything that doesn't really work out for you. I'm getting that you leave, you leave things behind when they're not really working well. Okay, your person is feeling the hanged man energy, the justice card. So they're looking for balance. They're trying to look at things from your perspective. You have this energy of being worried, not being able to sleep at night, remorse and regret. But your person's coming in here as the reversed king of pentacles. So that energy is a little bit tough because the king of pentacles is very stubborn and very impatient and usually very obsessed with money and you know just the accoutrement of a good life so i see sagittarius that you may not feel as though you're on the same page with your person being stubborn makes it difficult your person also is open to other people the seven of cups says that they have a lot of options available to them the Four of Cups says that, you know, your interpretation of their behavior is that they're kind of bored, they're taking you for granted, you know, sort of like you just don't think they're into you. But the Temperance card speaks otherwise. The Temperance card is all about your person feeling very much like they want to make things work. That is Sagittarius energy, actually. So you may have a Sagittarius connection in your chart. So let's look and see what your mutual energy is with this person. The Ace of Swords. So you both want to be very clear and honest. You both want equal give and take. <clears throat> And you both have a fiery, passionate nature with each other. This is a Leo King. Both of you really want to have a relationship in which, you know, you are one another's pride. Let's see what we have here for the energy of, this is your outcome. So your outcome says we have the Two of Swords. You know, you're, you're having an argument that doesn't seem to be resolved as your outcome, Four of Swords, you're both healing. So something has really happened here. So we're gonna dig into this energy and the details. We have the Magician card. So both of you are trying to manifest a relationship with each other. But what I'm seeing is that you're having some real difficulties. I'm gonna just try to, there we go. Okay, so let's take a look and see what we have for your clarifiers here for this reading. So your person wants to work with you, and that is clarified by the energy of the Queen of Wands. <laughs> Sagittarius, that is you. So both of you want to work together. You feel as though you need to be the natural leader, though. You know, this is a card of the Queen of Wands, and, you know, she kicks butt and takes names. You know, she's very much boss lady, so you may be you may be coming across as somebody who has more authority than the other person. So I would just, my advice would be, you're probably right, but this person isn't looking as though they're very happy about it. This is your Sagittarius energy. So you, you're looking into the future, you're willing to do the work, but you're feeling on guard. Your feeling about this relationship is that you're really trying to figure out if this is going to go somewhere. Your instinct is that if this is not going to culminate in a marriage or moving forward very quickly uh, into something substantial, that you will cut it out of your life. I feel as though for many of you, this is probably a relationship that hasn't uh, been around for very long. It's probably very new. I'm not seeing a lot of deep emotions. So new relationships have a tendency to be, you know, about getting to know each other. And that's what this looks like. Okay. So what I'm getting here for you, Sag, is that you don't want any burdens. Honestly, you feel as though if anybody is a burden to you, that 
you know, you've been down that path before. You may have been down that path with this person and that you will just cut somebody out of your life. There's also an energy that this could be a situation in which you broke up with this person and now there's going to be a reunion or you go, you're going to get to see them after a, a time apart. I don't feel like for most of you that's the case. I think it's more emotional. The Nine of Swords energy is telling me that you feel remorse and regret, but part of you are manifesting your outcome. Look at this. You want healing. The Magician card is a card of manifesting, but it's also the card of the physician. Uh, physician heal thyself, Magus the healer. It was determined back in the olden ages, golden and olden ages of tarot, that there was not an understanding that doctors were people of science. They were thought to be magicians. You know, like, how did you heal that person? So you do have a lot of healing powers available to you. Let's look and see what this energy is for your for your person. We get the, the Knight of Swords. Your person has a lot to say. They haven't said it yet. Uh, the Justice card is coming in as Libra energy. They really do feel as though they haven't told you how much they like you. And I get them rushing in to do that. I like that to balance out the situation. Um, they feel as though they need to have credibility with you. The Eight of Coins. So that's good energy. So even though this person is stubborn they're seeing that being stubborn you know they can't just be who they are because good communication is key so your person is going to be more communicative with you this is beautiful okay I like this the uh, the seven of cups is a card that means that there are a lot of different options and very clearly there are some very bad options that this person has available to them. They want to choose you, Sagittarius. They feel that you're very enlightened. They feel that you're very beautiful. You make them feel very happy. They feel as though you are the match for them. That's hopes and dreams for love coming true. So you represent to your person, Sag, a lot of really beautiful qualities of healing, of love, of light. Uh, they see you as very attractive. And for some of you, you know, you might even be a rock star, as I like to say. Your person feels very um, sad, very sad that you are worried about the relationship. From what this is indicating, what we're seeing here in the cards is that this person is not... They're not the hanged man. They, they want to hang out with you. They do not want to choose someone else. So, Sag, if you are dating somebody who has a lot of dating opportunities and you feel as though they're unstable, I really see this person trying to set that, you know, right, so to speak. They have not, I don't see any indication here whatsoever that they've cheated. Just because they have options doesn't mean that they're going to cheat. And they feel terrible because I feel as though you've made some sort of information obvious to them. You know, I think that they actually asked you, well, do you think I'm cheating? I mean, do you think I'm out with everybody? And the fact that you hesitated a bit, you didn't want to be, you didn't want to really answer this question. Um, but I feel as though you did and you told them that you were worried, uh, that it, it's a constant source of fretting for you. And I feel as though that really sent them into a tailspin, that it really wounded them. They have remorse and regret about, you know, what, like, wow, I can't believe I picked somebody who has so little faith in me. And I don't know what to think about that, but your person really cares very deeply and they still want to hang out with you. It's, uh, I like this hanged man in Energy. Look at because when we get the hanged man energy here, it shows that they want to hang out with you because you're the the light of their life. You know the the sun card is the happiest card in the deck, and they feel very balanced with you. So your person feels pretty wounded by you know, any implication that they've done something wrong in the relationship. And I don't see any actions that would indicate that they have. 
So the Ace of Swords is your energy, you know, it's your, your mutual energy. So both of you want the same things. You're on the same page. I do get that you want to have, you both want to have clarity about where the relationship stands. You both want to uh, come into this energy of making a decision to date exclusively, to have, to declare one another as your primary relationship, at least for the point of the, the point of getting to know each other. Yeah, here we go. So both of you want clarity. Both of you want to declare the other person publicly because Leo energy is very public. You, you both want the acknowledgement on both sides uh, that with your friends, with family, with loved ones, that you are the significant other. So that is mutual energy. I like it. So now the outcome is that this is how it gets done, when it gets done, looks like it's a source of argument. Four of Wands, okay. So Four of Wands is a card of celebration. It's a honeymoon card. It's a classic indicator of stability with marriage. So both of you, you know, what I'm seeing here is that one of you is really pushing this relationship to accelerate into uh, almost a commitment to marriage. And the other of you feels as though that is premature. Whether, you know, declaring that you're dating exclusively is one thing. But here in the outcome, we have a very different energy for both of you, which is yet again causing a problem as to what this declaration of public declaration of exclusivity would mean. I'm getting the tower card here that this could unravel the foundation of your relationship that, you know, Whoever wants this energy of like big commitment, big public commitment, a commitment of marriage, I'm not getting that you're that that's going to happen. I'm getting that that pushing that agenda, whoever's pushing it, it can be either of you, uh, is not going to really bode well. What I'm seeing is that one of you really wants to enjoy life together, to have a great romance, to have a great friendship, to build the relationship in a more deliberate way with the Ten of Coins, that in essence that, you know, if there's going to be a constant bruising battle here, Sagittarius, I actually do not see you in for that. You know, you do want stability, but you are not going to really promise to be a significant other to someone before you've had the development of the relationship so that you know that you can feel safe and happy. There's still, I, and again, I feel very much that this is a newer relationship. It's one in which, you know, you love each other, that you're developing the relationship. You're very attracted, but I feel as though it's still fairly new. So let's look and see what Moonology has to say for you uh, in terms of this relationship. I really feel that this the advice here should be a day at a time, not rushing into anything. Relationships do not, they're not like turning on a light switch. They are developmental in nature. So what do we have? Conclusions are within reach. There is a, the next full moon eclipse will bring that about. What's spirit telling you? Okay, it's a time to give rather than take. So both of you should be in this to win it. You should be willing to go through the process of getting to know each other. Nobody should be pushing for a resolution prior to the time that a resolution is naturally and normally reached. We have surround yourself with protective energy let go of the need to be right. So I do feel that ego drive here is, is part of what's going on. It's, it should really be what's right, not who's right. And I'm getting choose your path. 
So you are going to have to choose a path of whether you're going to battle or whether you're going to, you know, really try to come together in coupledom because right now we see a natural affinity for some conflict. So sending you love from Chicago. That's your reading, Sag. I hope it was helpful. Please be, for, be sure to enter the contest. Uh, and for personal readings, the information's in the description box. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from.